Two local men are hosting a unique event next weekend. They're inviting all Metro Detroiters to break a world record by playing dodgeball. Joining me now to talk about the event are Marlo Stoudemire and Justin Jacobs. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. All right, so tell me, how did this whole thing even come up? Well, I started a company called Come Play Detroit. We provide social offerings for young adults, young professionals in Detroit and in Metro Detroit. And we wanted to do something really exciting that would bring the city together, sh showcase all the great things that Detroit has to offer, and really show people that there's a lot of fun things to do, and Detroit doesn't need to just be a destination for a commute. And at what point in that process did you think, all right, dodgeball is going to be it? <laughs> well, one of the things that we learned through a uh, survey that was done in 2008 by Gallup and the Knight Foundation called the Soul of the Community is that most Detroiters or most people in the inner cities are not looking for huge salaries. They're not looking for employment opportunities the way you would think as being priority number one. It was more about social offerings, having good aesthetics, and quality of life. And that's through urban experiences. So one of the things that we try to do is bridge the gap between culture and social experiences. And dodgeball is a sport that's all inclusive. Anybody can play. You don't need a lot of equipment. You can have a wide space and invite people. Because one of the things we want to do is break down color barriers and cultures and get rid of the whole eight mile city versus suburbs and bring everybody together to have fun. And then we can talk business. And what is the current record right now? Currently the record is 3,500. It was recently uh, made by the Naval Academy. It's currently going through the, the final processes of Guinness's uh, confirmation process. And when is the game going to be happening and where and who all can come? I mean, what kind of ages are we talking about? Right, right. The game will be next Saturday, August 20th at Belle Isle. That's an, it's an entire day, though. It starts at 10 a.m. The game is at 1 p.m. So there's going to be family fun for ages of toddler all the way up to, through our seniors, who we respect very much. Um, anybody can get involved. Doesn't matter your background, your culture, where you live. Come on down to Detroit and have a good time. It's all about being inclusive in, in today's Detroit. And Justin, you also mentioned too that you know there are other things going on. There are health screenings, and this whole thing is free. Definitely. Uh, so we partnered with the uh, Youth Connection, an organization that provides after-school programming for young for kids in school. So they've been doing this for 10 years, and they have so much to offer in terms of opportunities for kids and families to come, be engaged. Whether it's signing up for programs, there's going to be on-site inflatables and interactive games with the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, we have other organizations like Hype. Athletics that's going to be put on some fun things for kids to participate in, and there's going to be face painting and character caricatures and just fun for everyone. It's free. Come out, join us, be a part of history. Right, and our local sponsors, <clears throat> presenting sponsors, Dodge, bringing everything full circle. Dodge, Dodgeball, and we want people to know that our business anchors here in Detroit, our Henry Ford Health Systems, our HAP, our Cranes Business Detroit, they're here to help us. We have support. We have the background. It's just putting the pieces together and really bridging the gap of the generational diversity that I think has been lacking. And as you can see by the partnership between Justin and I, we represent two different backgrounds, two different cultures, but we're coming together for one common good. Detroit isn't dead. <laughs> people are doing things and have been doing things, and we want to represent that. Great way to showcase that and get people together. So thank you so much. Thank you. We wish you a lot of success with that event. You can find out more information about the event on our website, WXYZ.com. Just check the scene on 7th section. Let's make history. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, over to you. We're going to throw this ball over your way. Okay.